Hi guys, this is Angie from Tutorial Soup. Um, in this series of tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use um, HTML5. Um, I'm going to show you how to set up your HTML document, um, how to use the canvas element, more importantly, um, and then eventually I'm going to show you how to create games using the canvas um, element. Right. To start off with, I'm going to create a new directory. Call it HTML5 Games. I'm going to create a new text file, as always. I am going to. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up in my trusty Notepad++ because it's easier to see. I'm going to get rid of this. Now, if any of you have ever used HTML before um, and remember the old document and declaration, um, it was a very, very kind of complicated piece of um, gobbledygook um, that you, you'd had to paste in at the top of your HTML document every time you create one but um, I will show you how easy it is now to define your document as HTML um, it's literally doc type HTML and that that is how simple it is to declare um, your HTML document. Um, before it was uh, two or three lines of, of rubbish basically um, but that's made a lot easier in the HTML5 specification. Um, I'm gonna open, my, open it up with an HTML tag. Um, an HTML tag or any tag within an HTML document um, is used to mark up um, specific text or images um, um, in a structured way um, so it can tell the browser how to display your um, how to display the information so to start off with you always have to have an HTML um, tag um, then you need a head tag now in the head tag you keep information um, about the title of the document, um, other information like the meta information, um, keywords, description, um, and also any um, any references to script or external CSS style sheets. Um, don't worry if you um, don't worry if this is a lot to follow to start off with. I will make it all clear as I go along. Um, so at the moment, if you yeah, just copy what I'm doing, and then eventually you understand. So within the head tag, I'm going to put a title tag. Now this is going to be this is going to be the title that's displayed in the bar at the top of the browser. It's not going to be the title uh, within the page itself. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a second. So let's call this uh, cool. Um, I'm going to close the head tag. So that's the head section done for now. I'll extend on that in a second. Um, now, the next tag after the closing head tag is the body tag. Um, I'm going to immediately close this as well. So. So within here is the content of your web page. So um, all content you're going to have is going to be within these two tags. Um, after the body tag, we're going to close the HTML. So in a nutshell, that's pretty much a HTML document at its basic, at its most basic. Um, we're going to save this. In HTML5 games, we're going to call it HTML5 I'm going to call it 
my first page. Um, now I'm using underscores to link these together because um, it's kind of better than leaving spaces between the words. Um, the most important thing is I'm going to put the extension in, which is .html, which makes it into an HTML document. So if I load this up now, as you can see, I've got the HT this is the HTML version. This is just the text file version. So what I'm going to do is delete the text file. And I'm going to open this up in the browser. As you can see, when it finishes loading, I don't know why it's taking so long. Right. So at the moment, there isn't actually any content within the body um, because the body was left empty. But what is present is the title, which is in the um, tab up here. So the title is cool HTML5, and if you remember, that's what we wrote. If I open it up again, hang on a second. Um, um, so cool HTML5. So that's the title, and that's where the the um, title will go. Any content in here is going to be displayed here. Um, I shall show you. is page content. Um, I've created another uh, tag um, called the paragraph tag. So these, so these uh, mark up um, each paragraph when you need to create one. Um, so it, it's again the same conventions with the other tags. You have to um, open it um, with an open tag, and you close it with a closing tag. Um, so coincidentally, um, as I didn't tell you before, each each opening tag has to have a closing tag as well. So the opening tag is looks like this, and the closing one has a little slash. Um, so same with the HTML one, you've got a little slash there, which um, signifies it's closing. So each each opening one will have a corresponding closing tag. And it's very important that you make sure that you open and close tags properly. Right. So that. Now if I save this and refresh the screen, you'll see this is the content between the body tags. So this is displayed in the, uh, within, the, within the window, in the page, in the document itself. Um, and then the title's here. Um, we can also put, as with all HTML, you can do a header one tag. So this is my, this is my web page. Go. That's, uh, that's a large font. Um, right, now I'm going to introduce you to a very important tag and it's new to the HTML5 specification so it's called the canvas tag. I'm going to quickly make the opening and closing tags for this. Um, I'm going to give it a width. of 500 and a height of 500 as well. At the moment you won't see anything because there's, there's nothing actually within the canvas itself and it has no color. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you um, how to quickly add a CSS style sheet to so we can style um, the canvas and just um, add a little bit of color. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open a new file. Um, I'm going to save it quickly first in my directory as actually five games game let's call it game. CSS uh, it's important that you um, include the extension .css. Um, so in here, 
first actually I'm going to link it so if we go back to the head section I'm going to include the link to the style sheet because at the moment it doesn't actually know the um, style sheets there but I have to link um, I have to make a reference to the CSS style sheet from within my HTML so link equals style sheet Let's spell this right, shall we? And the reference is my game.css. Let me close that. Right, so this is going to point to this within this directory. So now that's going to work. We're going to make. We're going to give the canvas color. So, if I type in, what we need to do first is give the canvas an ID. So this ID helps us to um, target this specific element here. So I'm going to call it game canvas. Like so, and save that go back into my CSS um, now when you when you create an ID um, for a particular element say it's for the for any element within here if I create an ID um, you have to reference it first using a hash so you have to include that first so I'm gonna include that there opening and closing braces um, now I'm going to give it a background color um, this background again the background if you're typing in a hexade hexadecimal um, value you have to put the hash in again um, I'm going to make it black so it's, in order to do that I just have to put three zeros and a semicolon to signify it's the end of the, the line. So I save that, go back into here, and now you see my canvas has been styled um, black. So now you can you can actually see the canvas on the screen. Um, I uh, don't worry if you're not taking this all in right now. Each time we create, um, each time we use the canvas. Um, I'm, we're not going to have to write all this again. We're just going to make small uh, little adjustments. Um, I'm, I've, you could, I mean, eventually, this could be um, this is where my game will go. I mean, eventually we're going to be doing some cool things with this canvas. I'm going to show you how to um, create shapes. Um, I'm going to show you how to move them shapes around to animate them. And eventually we're going to create a basic, um, a basic space invader game. Um, so it's going to be, um, it's going to get a lot better later down the line. So if you take in all these tutorials, if you watch each one of them, eventually it's going to pay off, and we're going to create a game out of it. Okay. Um, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that with the canvas element. Um, so cool. Um, so that's it for this uh, tutorial, and I will see you in the next one.